sooner of course do I turn this off than there's reason to turn it back on again. Reason in this case being two Canada geese who are sitting here fairly motionless and unmoved in the middle of the canal. Ducks coming in that direction. Hi you two, any thoughts? It's winking at me. The bottom part of the eye comes up, you can see the nictitating membrane. Is it nictitating or nictating? Something to do with nicotine anyway. So there they are, another lock. This is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Fishery Lane already. I think that's right. The station, Hemel Hempstead Railway Station, um, hidden behind those trees just over the way there. So we're now pretty much in Hemel Hempstead, the Boxmoor area of Hemel Hempstead. The Bullbourne here has got really thin, but the water's moving quickly and it looks quite bright and, and uh, clean, in fact despite having been through the canal, maybe another spring has added itself to it in the meantime and cleaned it up a bit. You've got water, sorry, not watercress, that's duckweed down there, limnia, fishery lock this is called, lock number 63 on the Grand Union Canal and the Fishery Inn, an ancient inn on the other side there. Hemel Station, I think you just see in the distance the, the, the things around it, but it's nice and green here so the trees are obscuring it, but that's only about 250 metres or 300 metres in that direction. And here we seem to have some kind of a, a boat trip going on with people being taken around. It's interesting, I don't think I've seen one of those before around here. So, fishery in, pull back, get the whole thing, fishery in. It's a good pub. This is definitely familiar from my youth, that had the same shape when I was a little boy doing cross country running around here. So I love to commune with my own youth when I come around here, you know. That's one of the things I like most about it. And this has fish, look, there's a stickleback. I don't know if you saw. I'll try and cover the, the area here where these sticklebacks are swimming around and maybe they will do a little bit of swimming out for us. At this time of year, the male stickleback has such beautiful eyes and a, and, and a, a green green eye green stripe going down it and the red around its belly that you know when you think of neon tetras cardinal tetras in the amazon i don't think that as far as bright colors are concerned that there's an awful lot to choose between them we talk about exotic fish but uh, the stickleback is homegrown fish which looks quite drab the females are very drab whereas with tetras you've got the same on male and female the same color but the male is showing a um quite spectacular if you can only find one and they build nests so something like this is very good for them because they'll find material in amongst all these aquatic plants to build their nests they build a nest like a tunnel drive the male dri builds a nest and drives the female into the nest the male then exercises a brood care as is often the case with what you might call higher fishes now, a number of times I've walked across that you get your feet wet when you do but it's quite good fun it's slippery though don't try it if you come here and um, there's the yellow flag irises again before let me comment before i go i want to talk about the stickleback the stickleback common stickleback the three-spined stickleback is the most common stickleback it's called gastrosteus aculeatus gastrosteus means gaster is stomach ost osteus ost is a is a it means a spike uh, you find the same word in Polish, ości means fish bones, uh, rather than kości, which is general bones in Polish. Um, and ości ichthys means bony fishes in Greek. That's the, uh, the name that we apply to the, the class 
or stick figures. I think it's either a class or a subclass. These things change. And since I've learned it, learned it in my teenage years, it's probably all changed. But Ostic figures is the the class, if you like, of bony fishes. Uh, the clade, maybe you could say. I don't know. Maybe clade is not really. That's not really the, the necessarily the strictest use of the word clade, but you could push it to, to cover the clade of, of bony fishes. So, Gasterosti is the belly spike. Of this. In fact, the spines are on the belly and on the back. So the three spines, Stickleback has three on its back. Um, Aculeatus, that's the same word, spiky, but that's a mixture of Greek and Latin, as often happens in, in the so-called Latin names of, of animals. I think it's Linnaeus's name, I'm not sure, because it's obviously a, he named most of the common European species. And uh, we've also got a nine-spine stickleback, which is more brackish, and you've got pipe fishes. Um, st between sticklebacks and pipe fishes you've got a range of slightly less common or less often seen fishes where you've got gradually you've got the, the, the shape of the mouth moving forward into a kind of pipe and you end up with the situation where the pipe fish proper is a marine fish it's related to the stickleback. So the stickleback is in the same water with minnows and gubby, uh, uh, gu gudgeons and things like that. But it's much more related, in fact, to the pipefish and to the seahorse. Now the sticklebacks don't do what pipefishes and seahorses do. They don't have brood pouches where the male looks out, actually bodily looks after the, the, the young and carries them around with him like seahorses do. You won't find that with sticklebacks, but you do find that the male is the one who does all the work making a, a, a pouch for the young out of the water plants and driving the females into um, to laying their eggs there. And then they don't form pairs, they uh, take as many females as they can lure and then they will exercise care of the entire brood which they have in their territory. Um, being good fathers. Cichlids, you have more exercise taken by the males often than the females, but it's just as commonly in most cichlid genera a shared job, the brood care. And in some cichlid genera, in, the, in Tanganyika for example, um, Pseudolamprologus um, and Lamprologus as well, you have actually community arrangements where even older siblings take part as well as both the parents in the care of the brood, the protecting of the brood as it, the, the younger fry as they develop, which is probably also the case with some marine fishes as well, but I don't know much about marine. There you go, private no landing on that side. Presumably it belongs to those flats. And having gone on a little bit about sticklebacks, I shall... Can't you read? It says private no landing. They're saying...